It's the mayor. Welcome to Show Face News. You can call me what you want, just don't call me woke. You already know you're rocking with the town favorite, Show Face News. It's Big Gotham, the real New York mayor, F. Eric Adams. And we back again with another one, gang. Check it out, man. So, <clears throat> Sahara Ali, who is a legend, you know, very impactful in the black community for about 30 years running, has made countless educational books on the original people and is a known icon okay now she recently did an interview where she actually downplays the impact of kevin samuels and it gets kind of cringe i'm not gonna hold you so hit that like share the video we're gonna get right into it salute let's get it i understand you spoke to kevin samuels numerous times and he acknowledged your work as uh, being the inspiration for his views about relationships in our community right <laughs> um did you agree with kevin samuel's approach no i didn't agree with kevin samuel's he agreed with me and that's was and he was always so respectful to me and we were getting ready to do something though we were going to do a big thing in atlanta and then he went and died so i guess that wasn't supposed to happen <laughs> but uh you know. i don't like that <laughs> I don't like that at all. Listen, say what you will, right? And look, I get it. She's a very respected figure. You know, don't get it twisted, but something about this interview and that energy rubs me the wrong way, fam. I mean, let's be real here, man. Could a man ever be right <clears throat> in the eyes of most black women? Just, to, I'm just saying, like, and that's not to say that... <clears throat> all black women are against us, but you know how some of y'all had mothers, you know, and I'm talking for people like me, respectfully, but you know how we had those mothers that could never let their man be right? You think it's, it's kind of the same energy, but then you're laughing about him, him dying. He's saying, yeah, that was never supposed to happen. This makes me think she was on that train of women who were happy that Kevin Samuels passed away. Just me personally. You could say what you want. You could believe what you want. I'm telling you what I personally believe. For her to do that, you know, and not, you know, just have some type of, you know, rest in peace to him. Or not. Like, he didn't even say rest in peace, nothing like that. And he showed her ultimate respect. But she still this lab said ah he died so i guess it wasn't meant to be i mean you don't get a r.i.p nothing like she must have you know what it is kevin must have struck a nerve even with her to some degree that's that's how i take it i mean y'all believe what y'all want let me know in the comment section but let's get back into it hit that like button gang come on you know uh kevin uh the book woke him up and it gave him the courage to discuss and address these things since I had did it and had put out the blueprint. And so he uh, was a bit crude. Uh, I had told him I didn't think he would be successful because of how he was going about it. But he uh, told it the way he saw it and uh, he was not successful. He was successful in his platform, you know, getting hundreds of thousands of people, three, four, five hundred thousand people were you know, tuning in to hear him and his comments. But I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it benefited some of the women because it put us in check about what we think our overrated value is. Okay. And we think we have a greater value because we think that we are in charge of sex. Okay. And most men will just about do anything or go along with anything if they think that. Well, that's changing. <laughs> okay. That uh, is not all completely the way it, uh, it was. This is the thing I wanted to mention, and I don't usually talk about this. So, <clears throat> she says he was unsuccessful, but successful with his platform. Wouldn't that be one and the same? I mean, I guess she's talking about impact-wise. I mean, let's be real. Kevin Samuels has definitely made a lot of men wake up. <clears throat> a lot. <clears throat> People have got married, saved their marriages because of Kevin Samuels. People's whole outlook in life 
change because of Kevin Samuels. People's whole lifestyle changed because of Kevin. It's just information that Kevin put out there because Kevin Samuels came in on YouTube as someone who was, you know, in the fashion industry. He was a, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, <clears throat> he was a fashion consultant, image consultant to be exact. So he gave a lot of game on fashion, what you should wear as a man, you know, what you should do to maintain your, your clothes, your shoes, etc. what watches to buy, things like that. Real, real essential information that could be very critical in a man's life. You dig that? Maybe your father couldn't teach you because <laughs> your father wasn't the most fashionable guy. You dig? So Kevin came in the game like that. That's how we started out. Then it, the whole manosphere thing came into play after the fact, which would ultimately make him, you know, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And put him on this plateau to where he's literally running the algorithm, you know, on another level. You feel me? So <clears throat> that's what happened. His impact to this day is still very crazy. I ain't gonna lie, man. He's changed a lot of men's lives. Just keeping it a thousand, but. She probably don't see it that way. But hit the like button, share the video, we gonna keep it going. When I say that we're living in trends, the messenger talked about when we get out of control, too savage that we live in a beast life, okay? Our younger people, that's that children of the future them, are living somewhat of a beast life because the new trend now, and I only know about this because they put it out there in the public on the Instagram and the internet and on the uh, Facebook and everything. Uh, one of the things that scientists say separates the humans from the animals is that humans mate face to face. Animals mate from the rear. Well, it's popular now that that's what they're all doing, mating from the rear and doing all kind of other distasteful things and calling it sex. That's a bad sign. Okay. Uh, there's a different connection, as we all know, of face-to-face -face than another kind of way. People are getting hurt. Uh, they're choking each other. They're spitting in each other's mouth, doing all kind of things that would never ever have been considered as sexual pleasure. There's something wrong in that. I don't know how long they're going to be practicing that, and they're even uh, doing uh, oral sex in people's uh, anus and their behinds, all kind of stuff, crazy stuff. And I'm talking about it because we need to know and we need to start trying to teach something differently. I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> Man, this has been going on for centuries. Anything under the sun, as far as intercourse is concerned, has been happening. <laughs> is there a right or wrong way to pleasure another person or yourself? Because <clears throat> like I said, this has been going on for, for quite some time. This has been happening for ages. You could look inside pyramids and see what exactly <laughs> people have been doing as far as intercourse is concerned. I'm just keeping it a G with y'all. Just facts. Now, she might disagree, and it's fine. You know? But I'm just saying, I don't disagree with the spitting of the mouths and in the mouths and all that. Y'all seen the Kevin Gates thing when he spit in that girl mouth. Uh, nasty work. Not for me personally, but... These type of things have been done for for ages. I'm going to keep it a thousand. Y'all hit the like, share the video. Let's keep it going, gang. Okay? Come on. Okay. That's not no love. That's not no showing no love. It's a, it, That's something crazy. And uh, the girls are accepting it. Young women are being choked. Or somebody spitting in their mouth. Uh, all kind of insanity things. And they're calling it sex. That ain't no sex. I don't know what kind of beast life that is. But... That's another trend that I hope passes because that's taking it to such a low level. Where can it go after that? And, and how long then will generations think that that's affection? So that's a very bad sign, I think. 
and that the young women think that that's natural, as I said, that they're going along with this, and that the men are tiring really of them at all. They don't even want to look at them. And uh, I'm concerned about that, and I think we all should be. I just wanted to touch on this, the Kevin Samuels thing one more time. Do you believe he helped bring interest into your works with a new generation? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it just, uh, it was so personally, individually critical. I don't think that that ever helps. I think you have to be civilized and you're asking and telling. And I don't think that uh, that kind of overly critical criticism of an individual, each person individually, no, that does not help, especially publicly. As I said. So she basically is saying that Kevin was way too critical on his approach. I mean, look, he's not a he's not a female, he's not a mother, but he's gonna be nurturing towards someone's, you know, excuses. I mean, in life, you know, you have to take accountability for your actions, and that's what Kevin did. Hold held people accountable for what they did. I don't see the issue there. Maybe it's because I'm a dude, maybe because I'm a man. <clears throat> but listen, you gotta look in the mirror at the end of the day. What are you doing wrong for these things to happen? What can you do better? To have progress. You think how do you stop being delusional? Because Kevin Samuels was giving him that mirror, like, listen, you're delusional. You have this, that, and the third going on. How can you deserve something greater when you don't even, you know what I'm saying? You don't even have the <laughs> you know what I'm saying, attainable sources to attract that. You dig? So I think she she kind of feels like, you know, Kevin is below her. Just my opinion. And that he was attacking when he wasn't. And everybody got their own, you know, aspect. You know, their own perspective on things. Especially with Ke what Kevin Samuels was doing. I don't disagree with nothing Kevin did. Because people tried to attack Kevin. And... You know, people were literally going to Kevin, looking for advice, looking for his opinion. So, how is he wrong? You dig? And it's kind of narcissistic to think that he should do things in the way that you see fit. Because, let's just keep it 100. We all are our own individuals. And we are our own things. So, how in the world could you, you know. And look at the smiling. Like, you got to peep the body language. The smiles. <laughs> like, it's like she's downplaying him. And everything he's done because he's like nobody look at me pretty much i'm just keeping it a thousand you could agree with what you want to agree i don't even care if she is an icon in the black community i'm just gonna keep it a thousand with you because i don't care what nobody got to say i know what i'm saying respectfully hit the like share the video let's keep it going and we already got low self-esteem and that don't mean build us up on some false bravado. I don't mean that. But I mean, we just have to be more gentle with each other. We are damaged creatures. Let me uh, reword it. I apologize. I, was, I wanted to ask, do you think his work brought more attention to your book? With a new generation, with a younger generation that probably didn't know about I'm not sure. See, the other thing is, remember, we're in a society where they're teaching against reading. All right, everybody either want to hear it or see it. So reading is not as popular. So I'm not sure if it worked that way. Uh, my sales have been impacted on a lot of things. You know, that must be 50 books out called A Black Man's Guide and A Black Woman's Guide. You know, so many people have copied, you know, my title. Uh, so I'm not sure it, it worked that way. I'm still selling books and he's still, I'm sure, there's still brothers out there not trying to take his place. So. Uh, that, that's just, you know, the way that turned out. Uh, he got me, I think, more attention for me, toward me as a writer, as a sister, you know. But uh, I know my place in the world, and I'm just a woman. That's not an insult. That's not a put down, but I am not a man. See, God is a man. You represent God, and I tell black women, the closest you may ever get to God is being with a black man. Because he looks more like you than me. And uh, we have so many things out here affecting our 
respect and image of self. That's the other reason black women don't want to believe that the black man is God, because they think the black man they know ain't nothing and that y'all ain't nothing, so there ain't no way you could be God. In fact, you have some brothers who have surrendered, and they walking around talking about the black woman is God. Some more absurd, silly nonsense that, that we start? waste our time on. When did that start, this notion that the black woman was God? Well, they just have surrendered. It can't be me, because I can't do nothing, I ain't got nothing, and look like she more successful or whatever. And so we just decide then she must be God. That's what a man do. I don't know no man that would decide that. And I try to correct every brother I run into about that. They think they compliment me by saying the black woman is God. But I'm not God. And I don't want that job. Okay, I got enough to do. I don't want to be, I don't want that responsibility. And I don't have that power. I wanted to touch on, before we get to the last two questions, I want to touch on something you said where you said uh, black women, they don't, see much in black men right mm. and from personal experience what i noticed that even if you're uh i don't know these terms they use highly performing even if just a, a great guy right mm -hmm. they still he wants to be i guess he says wants to say high value man to be exact it seems you can't see the greatness in me they still what they still struggle to see the greatness in you if you're oh yeah person. well as i said that's we've been all taught against each other so hard we have to talk more. Now that's one thing Kevin did. He got more black men speaking out about their dissatisfaction. Well, dissatisfaction produced change. One of the changes has been more of our men are going offshore seeking other women who they say can know how to act more like a woman. All right, It's like we'll tell a man, everything you do, why don't you act like a man? When you all have never challenged our womanhood, you all have never told us why don't you act like a woman. It's not in you, but we'll tell you real quick, why don't you act like a man? Well, how do we know what a man act like? Most of us didn't have a father. We didn't have a model. We only saw fathers on television and their movies, and they gave us certain ideas that white people have that they themselves don't live up to. Okay? Their fatherhood is built on them being able to provide, and they kept you from being able to do that so that you could not have that. And that's another reason I say that we have to teach our men how to be fathers, how to deal with babies, how to change a diaper, how to do all of those things. You made that. That's your idea. So you need to be a part of how it's going to be reared and how to handle it. Many of our brothers now are ending up with their children because many of our women, sometimes they have them, and then after you know, five or six years, they decide, I don't want to be no parent no more. And so they're giving the child away to the father. Well, now she's speaking facts to me. <clears throat> now these are facts. Regardless, these are facts. And it's facts over fiction. So I can agree to these things. You know what I'm saying? I can agree to some of these things. These these are facts, but damn playing Kevin though? I don't know. She says she feels that Kevin did set the tone for God speaking out more, which I do agree with as well. But there's so much more to it that I don't think that she actually can see. Just my opinion. Hit the like, share the video. And then sometimes the fathers are trying to get their children and you all have a very difficult time because the enemy don't want you to be able to do that, be involved with that. Uh, because they are so used to pretending that they're on our side. They're not on our side. The white woman is not on our side because we also think that she's nicer, it's better to deal with her. That's his mother. She not on our side. I was gonna ask. That's uh, his mama. Uh, there is the idea floating around, uh, guys. I know interracial dating for numerous reasons. So I'm not saying every black man with a black, a white woman has a uh, views the white woman as superior. I don't want to say that. I don't know if that's the case. So I won't say that publicly, right? But there is an idea circulating that white women are nicer than black women. Well, they are, because they haven't gone through what we have. They don't have the history we have. Why shouldn't she be nice? I remember one time I was in New Orleans doing a program and we came out of this restaurant and there was a white woman sitting on the curb, middle-aged white woman, and she was begging for change and everything. I said, I'm not giving you nothing. You a white woman, you got everything at your disposal that you could have in this country and you sitting out here begging, and I told my party, don't give her nothing. 
I say, you all just need to get up and go somewhere and clean yourself up and be white and you'll, you know, you'll get something going, all right? If not, if one of these stupid Negroes will get with you, but you got to clean up and do better than that. I say, but you know, so she has certainly a better opportunity. Now, a lower class white woman is not going to agree with that. She thinks she's having it as hard as black people. <laughs> In fact, she thinks we the reason she has it hard, all right? But uh, it's really not like that. Uh, that white privilege that they talk about is real. That's very real. And uh, we practice a little of it with each other on the lighter skins and the darker skins. You know, we ate. I'm going to be real with you. I'm yay and nay when it comes to the whole privilege aspect, when it comes to, you know, who has it harder. Everybody got it hard. Nobody's life is easy. I don't care who you are. Don't matter. Remember, race is a construct that was built and weaponized by a system known as racism. But if you allow that system to run your life, then it runs your life. Like, I don't believe anybody, you know, is special or had had it better than anybody else. I mean, yeah, no, because everybody has to struggle in some way, shape or form. You dig? I've seen a lot of poor white people, a lot of them, not gonna lie. I've seen poor, I'm honestly seen poor people in all shades to be real. So I've seen this, I've seen low class struggling white folks. I've seen all type of things. So everybody got it hard. It's where your mind is at. That's just me personally, though. Hit the like, share the video. Every idea they fed us, uh, uh, we ate it. Even though it was all against self, they taught us to want that. And we still continuing to do that now. Uh, we have learned to practice the trickology they practice, and so we have distrust of each other. You know, you're going to trick me, or I'm going to trick you. Just all kind of nonsense that we cannot dig up out of it until we give them their God back. We can't do it. <coughs> it's just impossible. You can't hold on to everything that they stand for and then say you're going to make a change because everything that they stand for is designed to destroy us. And using our standards based on their standards, I think is also a They're big, not big the big same. Big. They're not the same. Your nature is not the same as his. We keep pretending that they're human and have the natural feelings of sympathy and everything. They don't have none of that. It's not in them. You have it in you. Nobody never saved nobody but you. And uh, you have been beat down so and so discouraged that it's very difficult. But I want you to know that you will be the winner. You are the original man. God didn't make everybody and then make you. He made you first, and everybody was modeled after you on some level. That's real talk. That ain't to soothe your ego. I mean, these are actual facts that if we could get our men to understand and accept, and I know it don't look like it now. I know some of the guys in the gutter. I know some of them in prison, some of them on drugs, some of them out here acting ignorant, some of them pretending to be a woman. But that does not change the foundation of who you are and who made you, who is on your side, and who will pay the enemy back for what he has done to us. So, yeah. I think it's a contradiction to a degree, though. That's just my opinion. I think it's a whole contradiction. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. That's just me. I see her points and views, but at the same time, it's like, you can't get at me in his credit, though. I mean... Listen, he gave you the utmost respect. He can't get no respect even in his afterlife. You laughing at him. I ain't saying, ah, oh, it wasn't meant to be anyway. Like, was you that upset at what he say trigger you so much so that you would go out your way to say, hey, listen, he was he was way too, you know, straightforward and our people are sensitive and you're trying to make him look like he was more so the enemy more than anything, saying that his approach was just evil and what he did was really just traumatizing us more because we already are sensitive in a people who just have no low self-esteem and et cetera. I mean, anybody ain't got low self-esteem. At the same time, people do need to look in the mirror in order to better themselves. And that's why his perspective came from a man's point of view. It can't be a woman's point of view. It's in the point of view that you can't just, you know, understand fully, you dig?
And that's just how it was. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section, man. How do y'all feel about this? Was this cringe to you? Was this something you agree with or disagree with? You let me know in the comment section, man. How distasteful did you feel that this was? But this is show face news, the town favorite. And you already know the vibes. Stop playing. But listen, public service announcement. And that public service announcement is to stop playing. More content on the way. Let's get it. Button. 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 Button.